Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm gonna be talking about GPT 5.1 Codex Max in today's video. The main reason being is I'm actually a massive fan of Codex. I even think it might be better than Gemini CLI with Gemini 3, and I'm gonna try and show you guys that in today's video. Now, apparently this is a cheaper and faster model than GPT 5.1 Codex. And to be honest with you, if this thing is anywhere near as good as the original release of 5.1 Codex, then this might actually be better than Gemini 3. You can flame me for saying that, you can flame me for my titles and for my thumbnails, but to be honest with you, I'm not kidding when I say, in my opinion, this may actually be better. So this shows significant improvements in token efficiency due to more effective reasoning on SWE bench, et cetera, et cetera. While using 30% fewer thinking tokens, it actually performs better, right? Which is super, super exciting. Now I saw this earlier, this is 5.1 Codex and this is 5.1 Codex Max. The difference is astronomical in this actual prompt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you in this video that it might actually be better than Gemini. Now, the way that I'm doing this is I'm using my latest stack, which is basically my convex stack. I'm just gonna show you how this works. So MKD, GPT 5.1, Codex Max, and then CB, CD, GPT 5.1, Codex Max, there we go. And then I'm just gonna write Codex and then allow Codex to work in this folder without asking for approval, beautiful. Okay, so this is now working. Let's run through my entire process. By the way, guys, if you wanna join the school community, there'll be a link in the description. It's popping off right now. A lot of people joining, a lot of new faces. Later today, we have a meeting where basically every Thursday, we keep each other company for an hour. We hold each other accountable and you can talk to me directly for an hour. So definitely consider joining the school community if you feel like it. So the first thing we do is we just set up Convex. So MPX create Convex at latest, my app, Next.js, and then we'll do, um, I think I'll do AuthKit because it's the quickest. So we'll just do AuthKit real quick. Normally I use Clerk for production, but um, because I'm just doing an example in today's video, I will just quickly use um, AuthKit. That is my RuneScape telling me I'm AFK. And then we're just gonna go into AI Studio. You might be thinking, why are you going on AI Studio? I'm actually just going to grab um, a project, right? Because this is part of the overall uh, build, right? Let's just get this one, for example. This is an AI image storer and editor, right? So I'll just press download app here and this will download the app. Uh, all this is, is just, it's a very, very basic um, project, right? I can, for example, upload this image and then I can say, um, remove the background and then enhance image, right? And then what this should do is it should do exactly what I just said, which is just removing the image. Again, this isn't important. This is just part of the overall build. Okay, it kind of removed the image, the background. Okay, so from here, we do CD my app, right? As it says in the school community, and then NPM run dev. What this does is it starts the convex project. So create a new project. We'll call it um, 5.1 max cloud development. Okay, so apparently I have to upgrade to a new convex plan, which is fine because you know I use convex a lot, so I really don't mind. Okay, actually just for now, I'm just gonna delete one, so let's just delete this project here. Um, hang on. Delete project. Okay, and then we'll do this again. And then create your project, 5.1 codex, our development. There we go. Okay, this should start the project. There it is. You can see it just literally start the project right there. And then everything should be working. Beautiful. So from here, let's just cd dot dot and then write, not Gemini, sorry, codex. And then what we do is we grab this and we pull it. Oh, wait, we need to unzip it first, sorry. So we unzip and then pull the, or drag and drop the project here. And then we grab the prompt from the school community. So let's just scroll down like that and then just grab this prompt. And then we just put the prompt here and then we go and chill for a little bit. So it's 12.49 right now. Let's see how Codex does with this build. I'll tell you right now, Claude Code does a good job. 
Gemini 3 does not do a good job. Let's see how Codex 5.1 Max does. Okay, so this is the end result. Let's see if everything works off the bat. First of all, the UI UX is really, really nice here. I have to say it is a slight improvement on the older version of Codex. Let's see if everything works. So let's log in here. It might not work just because of HTTPS versus HTTP. Yeah, so you can see when I signed in there, it didn't actually work. Uh, we do have projects and numbers, but there's always a slight problem with HTTPS um, with WorkOS. So let me just see if I can work around that quickly. So a lot of this, um, like, what's it called? A lot of the copy here is much better than the previous model. Like it's not just kind of giving random fucking things anymore. It actually makes sense. Upload any of photo, describe the fix, and let Gemini rebuild it. Your project stays saved in your dashboard so you can pick up where you left it. Okay, guys, that did take a little bit longer than I wanted. Basically, there was an issue with work OS. I highly recommend using um, Clerk instead. Clerk is way better, guys. It's like 100 times better. Let's just upload a picture here. This might not work. I'm not too bothered if this doesn't work. Uh, remove the background. If it doesn't work, it'll just be some random issue with the, um, with, with uh, what's it called? It just says buffer is not defined. Like, that's not a big issue. Again, I'm not really trying to get this to work necessarily. I'm just showing you guys how good this setup actually is. I will, just for the sake of things, just send that here while that's working um, and then sign out here. And I'm going to be fair to Convex and I'm going to send one more prompt to, um, sorry, I'm going to be fair to Codex. I'm going to send one more prompt to Codex just like we did with Gemini. Okay, so if I just go to my school community, you can see here, make this look more unique and less basic and use sleek fonts. That'll be the last thing that I run um, before we basically, yeah, finish this video. I'm just going to sign in one more time. It says that it's uh, changed that. I don't know if it has to rerun everything or whatever, but actually it probably does, to be fair. Yeah, so I just have to run npm run dev one more time. That should load automatically. Uh, okay, go to app, beautiful, and then, yeah, and then remove the background. I love the look and feel of this, by the way. Uh, looks like it is actually working, beautiful. So let's see. Now we should see this um, basically populate inside the database in just a moment. There we go. I kind of removed the background, sure, and there we go. So now we should see if we refresh this. There we go, we have our projects and we can actually see our project. Okay, so the last thing, let's see if we can just improve this slightly with the Gemini prompt from yesterday. So make this look more unique and less basic and use sleep fonts and make it look more beautiful. And then we'll leave this and then we're done. Okay, so I'm not really sure if this is better or worse, to be honest with you. Um, I really don't know about Convex's design. I think the way to do this, guys, is Convex, sorry, I keep saying Convex, Codex for kind of the implementation, the technical implementation of things, right? Claude code is amazing for research, et cetera, et cetera. And then I think Gemini is the one for design. I'm gonna leave the video here, guys. This has got huge potential in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching. Consider joining the school if you wanna support me or if you just want to, a little bit more help with these kind of things. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very soon with some more content. Peace out.